Now mounting gauges into the ends of the levelet cylinder, we're going to find out if these levelets are truly locking up the way they should. Okay, we have eyes on the levelet. Don't try this at home. You won't be able to afford the fittings from Home Depot. I'm attaching the final gauge. We have 600 PSI gauges attached to the ends of the levelet cylinders, these two, and 1,000 PSI gauges that are tapped into the strut. If this works, when we go into a right-hand turn, this gauge will stop increasing pressure because the valve and the levelet will block the cylinder. And then the load side strut, which is going to be the driver's side, will increase in pressure. And this will be the passenger side. We've already tested to make sure that the valves are working inside. They're working great. So all we are confirming now is that we see a difference in pressure from the cylinder and the levelet and the, and the strut. And we're ready to test. There is no sway bar on this Jeep. So we have to make sure that the piston shaft extension is the same while we're sharing pressure. Getting some test footage with the GoPro on there. Push record. That guy's going to show the gauges as they drive it. So here they go. We're following the Jeep with the level it on it. Let's try it. If we lean over to the right, the far right gauge will lock and the, mid and the right middle gauge will start to move around. You'll see that as we switch from side well, to side. Well, just, just remember that on a, on a right hand downhill, the far right gauge locks. Opposite okay. on the left hand. So right now the gauge on the far right hand should lock and lower pressure and the one in the middle will be climbing separately, differently. 